All right, folks, so today we're going to whip together um, kind of a basic uh, terrestrial tarantula uh, enclosure. Um, so what I got here is a, a medium critter keeper. Uh, they're about 11 inches long by seven or so inches wide and seven or so inches uh, tall. Um, what we're going to be using here is uh, the tarantula blend of substrate that I, I mixed together. That is reptisoil, leaf litter, sphagnum moss, and some vermiculite. We got some fake plants as well, some sticks from outside, uh, a piece of cork bark for a hide, and some additional leaf litter. So uh, pretty basic process here. What we're going to do is take some scoops of the substrate and just throw that on in there. Um, what we wanna do is make sure we have um, a decent amount inside of there to promote burrowing if uh, the tarantula so chooses to do that. Um, you know, give it a little bit of a, of a pat down. See where we're at. I'm gonna keep on adding. You don't want to go too, too high because if the tarantula does decide to dig, well, the stuff on the bottom is going to end up at the top and you may end up in a circumstance where your uh, spider has, has, has moved all the substrate up and, and now it's encroaching on, on the roof. So we're going to start off here with a piece of cork. All right, to add a starter, right? Give it an area to uh, to shoot behind. You know, maybe they want that area, maybe not. And we'll just give it a little bit of a target there. Right, so we'll go right like that. We do have a couple pieces of fake plants um, depending on the, the species of tarantula you know real plants are, are certainly fine I am no plant expert my wife is way better at keeping plants than I am however I've had success with poso, pothos um, which is a, a pretty entry-level plant from what I'm told so something not not for me to write home about in my uh, Plant keeping prowess. All right, and then finally, what we're going to do is add in our water dish, like so, and then maybe a couple pieces of leaf litter. Just to spruce it up a bit. Yeah, no exact science. And I am certainly not the, the best at this. But now uh, what we have provided our tarantula with is, is a deep enough substrate to allow them to burrow, uh, a starter hide if, if they so choose to use that. Depending on what species you, you have, they may use that, they may create their own, or they may even um, um, not use it at all. Um, you know what, let's add a couple sticks too, just to change up. And add some different textures. Again, I am not the best at this, but you know, here it, it actually provides the tarantula with all all the requirements that they need uh, for a grow out. <clears throat> uh, this setup was probably good for you know a young adult or large uh, juvenile. Um, probably I'm going to end up uh, transferring my Pamphibetus species to rant into this enclosure, um, but we'll take a take that step in another video. Thank you, folks.